So we're squatting down in a really thick barley crop here in southwest Victoria, away from the wind on a really wet soil moisture profile. The perfect canopy that is likely to think about falling over as we approach flowering. So I think that gives us the perfect opportunity to talk about plant growth regulants and how we might actually use them um, to maximise the yield in barley. So I think there's really two main reasons that I can see plant growth regulants really have a neat fit in barley. And that is to keep them standing. So keep them standing from now on up until the critical period, so to avoid lodging. And then after flowering, to keep heads on the plant, so maximise head retention and to maximise the yield potential we actually have. Now the one thing that plant growth regulants won't do is actually increase our yield potential. PGRs protect our yield potential. So this crop that we're looking at here is quite advanced. We're at middle of semi-elongation. We have two nodes. We'll talk about what the canopy might look like when we actually think about applying a PGR for lodging. But first it might be useful just to talk about how PGRs work. So typically PGRs inhibit gibberellin production. And so gibberellic acid is the key component of the crop that affects longitudinal growth. So what I mean by that is stem extension and cell wall expansion. But what that means, if we want to use a PGR for actually controlling lodging, we need to apply it at the right timing. So some tips for just thinking about when we should be applying a PGR is, I often like to look at the canopy around at growth stage 30. And as a rule of thumb, if you can actually see the ground at growth stage 30, you're less likely to be lodging in that so the other important risk factors are yield potential. So in wet years like this, when we're on target for more than four to five tonnes per hectare, barley's at a bigger risk of lodging. Also the variety that you choose. Those fast developing, vigorous cultivars certainly are more prone to lodging. And the inherent nitrogen, so how much nitrogen this crop is sitting on is going to determine what that crop canopy looks like at growth stage 30. Now the reason we talk a lot about ground cover is that if the crop is already at maximum ground cover at growth stage 30, they're going to go through the stem elongation period, often and have the really thin, thin stems, and that's when you typically see lodging. So the lodging timing for PGR is typically at that, the start of the growth stage 31, so past where we are now. We'll dissect some plants and we'll show you those growth stages. Standing in two really distinctive different canopies and probably the two most extreme differences we have in Bali. On my right is, is Roslyn and on my left is, is Planet. So Planet's a much more vigorous variety, more likely to reach canopy closure quicker than the erect, more dwarf type in, in Roslyn. So these two crops, sorry, were sown in the middle of April. If we move down to a different looking canopy, so I'll show you some still shots here to look at different canopy covers. Here's a winter barley, still sown at the same time as these varieties. Not yet at growth stage 30, and if you look in my dissections, but still achieving canopy closure. Now one of the main major yield constraints with our winter barley has actually been lodging, purely to the fact that they are shading, reaching canopy closure by growth stage 30, and then um, really thin stems during that stem elongation period and the critical period and lodging prior to flowering. The other great lodging control is actually to sow later. So here's an example of planet sown a month later than the examples I've presented here. And yes, it's now at growth stage 30, but it hasn't reached canopy closure. So less likely to have shading and thin stems and less likely to need a PGR in this scenario. So many of your crops, we're actually at the end of July here, many of your crops might be well advanced. So where crops in WA are likely to be at, they're more likely to be closer to heading. So if you're thinking about head loss control with the plant growth regulant, it really has to happen during the flag leaf just visible to flag leaf being fully extended. We're trying to influence the length of that last stem extension, so the length of the peduncle that joins the head. Now this is what gives us improved head loss retention and what it does is it actually gives you more time at the harvest to harvest that crop so when the crop is more harvest ripe we've been able to show that 
it buys you two to three weeks before you'll start losing heads compared to the untreated. So if you think about applying a PGR late for head loss control, you have to be really careful about the conditions following that application, particularly frost going into a warm day. Because you're applying a hormone inhibitor, it can actually have a large influence on the hormone balance of that spike. And we've seen higher rates of spike infertility when we've actually gone to some of those frosty and warm, hot days after application. So that's something to be careful about. So summing up, we have that key timing around growth stage 31 to 32 for lodging control. Consider those risk factors we talked about, and then the head loss timing at growth stage 37, but really think about the conditions that the crop is in at the time of application. And if you're worried about the conditions, We've also shown the lower label rate of 200 mils per hectare has also been effective in reducing the peduncle and head loss.